Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain in a create menu lights. Create, click on this pin to separate this menu. We have a lots of light source that I want to explain them. First is a point light. If you click a point light, it will be created here, and you can click uh, and move it. As you can see, this is a, a point only light. It's a point light that emit the light in our direction in a sphere going to the environment for study those lights i want to go into the sun and hri and disable all of the sun lights and hit f4 to render the point light as you can see the point light is mm, disappear <clears throat> and you can and you cannot see it but you can see its effect here in its properties, if you click it, going to select the light source one. Here you can uh, in increase the power of the light for more light. Mm, like you can see, we have a more light here. And you can insert as many uh, point light that you want. For example, the point light there and bring it going to back for backlighting. <coughs> And you can, in its properties here, you can change the uh, color of the light. For example, a little small yellow light, and it's better. Okay. And you can delete them. Uh, oh, sorry, something. something. Uh, in a uh, cast shadow, it means it's cast shadow for objects. Just you can enable or disable it in VR mode. That I explain more in a VR if you wish that. Another light area is uh, another uh, light source is the area. When you click that, when you zoom in, you can by clicking and dragging to resize the area of that. If you click to give to bring the gizmo, they will be uh, disappear. You have to click again to bring them up. As you can see, the directional light is this area. Move it above and uh, resize it to fit more area. And of course, the power of it is zero, and you can increase the power and hit render. It's a nice uh, uniform uh, aerial light that uh, comes from a square or a rectangle. It's very nice and a smooth color. You can change the color also and the power on the disable or enable the cast shadow from in VR. Okay, and as you can see, it is invisible, in automatic. Okay. <clears throat> Another light is a spot. Spotlight, this is like this. This is a, it has a coin that you can, oh, sorry, for better understanding, render it. We have a little spotlight, increase the power to see more. Mm -hmm. There is our spotlight. I think it's in a bad direction. Selecting it, hit um, N to bring it there. Bring it up, F4. I want to light this direction. And as you can see, this is on a spotlight. Here you can uh, increase the coin angle, the bigger radius of the color of the light can change the power and okay as you can see uh, here we we have more light and uh, if it's go in a border we have a smooth light to the end this is um, because of blend if you make it the blend zero we have a short sharp uh, light at the corner if you want to a smooth Light at the corner, blur, you have to uh, increase the blend number. Here you can increase the coin angle a little bit. And that's the spotlight. 
Okay. Another light source is a directional. The directional is a direct light like a sun. You can increase the power and hit F4. It's directly emit a, sun, uh, emit a light from direction. It's actually like a sun. And hit F4. And you can change the direction of that any angle that you want as you can see it light all the scene direction as you can see we have no sky no sun the direct directly light the scene that's awesome and another source light is ies the ies light it's for for uh, for example you can use it in a wall for your lighting scene insert the ies and bring it a little bit it's a, like a coin it's a, like a spot but it has a special light map in it f4 and here the effect of ies light and in the settings, we have the power. You can control the color and the cast shadow in the VR. And here you can change, you can um, choose your IES light. You can choose from your disk or PC, or you can one click and change the IES light like this. Okay, it's very interesting. With one click, you can change your IES light. Click them and you can render IS light. Interesting. You can use any number of IS light in your scene for lighting your scene. Another interesting and important source for light is a portal. For explaining that, I bring a new scene. As you can see in this scene, we have a room that this room has three window, one door and another uh, door from this direction. If you go into the environment and click this sun direction, as you can see, the directional sign is in this path. In this direction. And if we going inside our room, here you can see a render. Okay. Oh, sorry for that. It's a wall very near to us. <clears throat> Hit F4. And as you can see, those window uh, emit or redirect the sun exactly to the room. Okay. Hit F4. Because we have, because we have a portal here. This is a portal. The portal redirect the sun exactly to the this direction. For interior rendering, we have to use that light. For this door, I insert another IE, uh, another portal light. For seeing that, I insert a cube in this and zoom to select it. And as you can see, uh, if we render it, because we don't have any light that comes through that wall, that window. We have no lighting in this room. Because the, we use that portal, we use that portal, this portal, redirect all of them. If you render the outside, as you can see, we have a lots of light here and other part of the scene are dark because all of the sun uh, power is redirect exactly in the, through this portal to that to those windows and you can simply add another portal portal to uh, another redirect of the sun to this direction it's very interesting you can uh, insert a new portal and hit n to snap it to this wall and you can rotate it 
negative 90 degree and with if you uh, disable or enable the gizmo you can see the handles you can go with the right and change the size of the portal that simulate the light go through this direction and as you can see if you render we have two redirection of the light in this direction and this direction and that's nice if you go into the that box and as you can see which direction uh-huh oh sorry which direction and if we hit a four and as you can see we have a light come through that window or door interesting this is all about portal another thing is to portal it means you can convert the object to the portal be careful about that for example i select this door and as you can see this element icon to portal it, this icon change to the portal and two things happen it become a source light and this disappear look at when you render as you can see the door is gone and just make it make a like a source light and uh, i be careful about the direction of the sun yes this is a portal and redirect the sun but as you can see this portal is more powerful than that portal because this portal is aligned to the direction of the sun so if you need more light in this portal you have to change the direction of the sun to that direction for example go into the direction of the sun and change the direction of sign in this direction and of course we have more light from this portal as you can see if you go into the box and we have more light from that door because it is exactly aligned to the direction of the sun okay and be careful about the doors that you make them to the portal Control z be careful about that make sure uh, use less objects for example if you want to create a portal from your object insert uh, those these shapes to make them like a portal okay this is a light type you can use it it's very simple and easy and it has no complex settings just insert use and you have interesting and nice render hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release